Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning and the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we're having a look at a very high strength whiskey, <laughs> unchill filtered from Signatory Vintage, an independent bottler, Ben Rinners, 12 years of age, 60.9 ABV. Ooh, that's 100 and... Uh, <laughs> 121.4 uh, proof, so it's a really, really high strength whiskey. Uh, unfortunately for all you internationals out there, it's a single cask and it's a single cask for Whiskey DE exclusive. Mm, so yeah, you might not find that on the market <laughs> out there. You might have to have a friend inside Germany for that. Um, so, and inside Austria. Austria. We're delivering to Austria. And this one is, well, this is a new one. The Unchill Filter Collection from Signatory Vintage from Piglochery um, in the Highlands. Uh, typically had been 46% ABV to avoid cloudiness uh, in that Unchill Filtered Whiskey. But since a few years, no, a few months, some probably maximum a year, there are whiskies with high strength out there. And the newest, this is the first bottle I've seen with this, they changed from the full metal tin to a card board tube. Well, this is due to environmental issues. You can't spoil all that metal for the, for the tins. So they changed to a normal uh, tube, uh, but the, the lids are still complete. Metal. Yeah, aluminium takes a lot of electricity. Not aluminium. Was it uh, not an aluminium tin? It's 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 not normal steel. Steel, okay. Mm -hmm. Steel also takes a lot of energy. Not yes. not that much electricity, <laughs> but energy. I yeah. still got some left in there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna dilute it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so dilute it less. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. So Ben Rinners, you've already been at Ben Rinners? Yes, the Ben Rinners distillery was closed for quite a time and it was for the produced for the blended whiskey industry there is no uh, single malt whiskey range widely available there are some bottlings from time to time and Ben Rinnes is one of the very very few distilleries in Scotland and in the space side which have three stills so they are triple distilling its whiskey and they have two sets of three. Mm. So because they need the amount for the blended whiskey industry, um, that means that they are producing at a high strength, probably around 80 ABV, so 160 proof. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, this should lead to a very uh, clean, pure, soft, alcohol in the whiskey. So it's 12 years, matured in a bourbon barrel, 306,477, 222 bottles out of the cask, so it's a bourbon barrel, cask strength, 200, this is bottle 214, whatever that means, uh, aged 12 years, distilled on June 19th, 2007, and bottled on uh, July 12th, 2019, so it's six weeks in the bottle. So it's really new. Six weeks, okay, that's really new. <laughs> so the the transport is really fast. So the transport is uh, that fast uh, until Brexit takes place. <laughs> and then we have to wait quite a lot. So we stock up our stocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can see this is a high proof, very high proof whiskey. And it's very, very hard to say a liquid, the viscosity is quite small. So pure alcohol is a lot more uh, flexible liquid in, in, the cask, uh, in the glass than uh, water is. And the maximum viscosity, so the smoothest oil looking whiskey is between 43 and 46%. When you're going higher, you see this uh, fast shaking, very mobile liquid in this glass and there are no lags on it because the viscosity so is so less. When you try to get lags, you get a line of uh, <laughs> yes. liquid and it has very, 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 <laughs> very small drops that just stay at the line where where you just reach the top. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really, really liquid. Yeah. 
<sighs> so there is <laughs> an alcoholic note in it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a smooth alcohol. It's, it's not that harsh. It's not a rush. So this is highly distilled. A smooth, light alcohol. And between that is... Uh, well, a, some light fruitiness, fresh esters, and this time is the second time I smell on it. Uh, I have a little bit of vanilla and caramel as well, but the light fruitiness is, is dominant. Mm -hmm. It's a, yeah, definitely. If you stick in your nose a bit too deep, then you realize, okay, 60% ABV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yes, as you said, it's very fresh. Might come from the alcohol a bit. But what I find is is a pear, and it's a very, very fresh pear. Even an, I would say an unripe, one of these small unripe pears that is really hard and really, really, really green. As um, strangely, there is a very, very few cask influence. Mm -hmm. So it, mm -hmm. it's written here, uh bourbon barrel on it so it's probably yeah. a refill it might be a refill mm -hmm. barrel and the 60 abv uh, gives some color mm -hmm. but if you dilute it down to 46 or 40 it might be quite light so i think it will be it is a refill cask yeah so if you drink that just straight neat it will um, burn you yeah. <laughs> and your tasting buds will be paralyzed for the next day <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you have a rule with 50%. That's not a bad rule. <laughs> <laughs> you never, can never go above 50. But, <laughs> but I, I, I sometimes overrule that. So I was uh, able to, to have 53. This was the maximum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, really the limit is 55, <laughs> something like that. But uh, if you have 55, you already burn yourself. Yes. Mm. That, that depends on the experience you have with whiskey. So mm -hmm. the typical beginner should start with 40 and this will be <laughs> hefty enough. So th now it's lighter, more of the peers <clears throat> coming through. Yeah, but it's a, a juicy, juicy peer. Mm -hmm. Some caramel in the back and well, some, some oakiness is there. 12 years in a cask will definitely give some oakiness, even if it's a American white oak, which is quite elegant and light in taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, um, usually when you put in water, the fruitiness uh, becomes more intense and it is in as the same here. Um, it actually changed the, the pier quite a lot. The, it's now much more intense and it's... Um, it's become much more ripe. Now it's one of these, um, how do you say it, rainbow colored peers, like when you have it a little bit brown and a little bit uh, purple, that kind of salmon color. Sal salmon color we call it in Germany. And it's uh, a very, very ripe um, peer just before at the point of becoming uh, overripe. And yeah, there's a little bit of more of that bourbon influence in there and a little bit of more cask coming through as well. So there is a bit of oak there. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. So still hefty, really 50%. <laughs> uh, yeah, starting to mouth water. And the alcohol is definitely not sharp. It's not burning because it's triple distilled and mm. it's quite high. Uh, mouth watering a little bit more than I had the sip before. That was down probably to 45 or something. So now I'm closer to 50. And there is some spiciness from the cask showing through. And with this 50% ABV, I think it's just right and gives you enough complexity to have a longer aftertaste. Mm -hmm. mm. It's as in the, in the taste, the pier really comes through. I'd really love to to get the feel of the distillery character because I'm, I still think the, the oak is not that strong. 
the cast character is not that strong so we have a lot of uh, the stiller character in there and it's beautifully light and a, a nice round maltiness to it mm -hmm. as a yeah it's a bit creaminess i put in a bit more water than i did in the german take so it's even more creamy um even though it's also going into the creamy dry sense does that make any sense <laughs> because it's a you have the feel it's creamy but when you swallow it you do have a bit of a, a dryness it's yeah so my tongue sticks a stick, little bit stickiness yeah. in your mouth so yeah mm -hmm. definitely it's a it's a beautiful journey and i, lo I love these ones where you have a that full range where you can go from 60 uh, ABV down to whatever you like and just see how that whiskey uh, reacts to the water that you add yeah. to it. And what's typical is uh, you have those small samples where you decide which of those casts you're offered you take for you uh, and then you try, you estimate, you suggest and <laughs> have the differences between several casks and then you pick the one that you say it's the best and uh, then it takes a few weeks, month, until you get the result mm. and then the result is, is really new, it's fresh, it's it's appears different. So yeah, it's wonderful whiskey, you decided oh. very well here. Yeah. yeah, it's a I love it because um, I just had the second sip and I think the the oak is stacking up. So mm -hmm. if you have a few glasses of that, you might get really interesting oakiness Not out of healthy. it as well. <laughs> <laughs> a few small sips. If you really get into the whiskey and just have that whiskey in one <laughs> evening, then it might be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I love that one. Mm. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then you might also find whiskey.com interesting because there's a lot of, a ton of stuff of knowledge about whiskey on whiskey.com. Even the uh, uh, a whole article about water and dilution and what water you should use and how you should dilute it. So have a look at whiskey.com, find out more about whiskey. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.